What's going on guys? Today we are talking about the about page of your website and everything that it needs to have to convince people to pay for your services. Let's get started. All right guys, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your freelance web design business or you just wanna improve your own website, make sure to click subscribe down below so you don't miss a thing. So the first thing that we need to understand about the about page of your website is more people visit this than you actually think. A lot of statistics show that the about page is the second most often visited page on any website. Okay, now it's important that we understand this and that we can gear this new about page towards our clients rather than back at ourselves. This is the biggest mistake that we often make is thinking that the about us page is pretty much just an excuse to talk about all of my accomplishments and all of my expertise and all the things that I've done and when my business started and where I come from. And the sad part of it is people just don't really care. Someone once shared an example with me that really resonated with me. I was asked when somebody takes a picture of me and a group of people and then we're shown the picture, what is the first thing that I'm going to look at? I'm not going to look at the other people in the photo, right? I'm going to look at myself. Um, and it's the same for everybody else. Um, and that, while that's a small example, really that, that remains true through everything in our whole lives. No matter what we're doing, who we're interacting with, we are constantly thinking first and foremost about ourselves and what's in it for me. Now, this seems like a selfish mentality, but as human beings, this is how we think. We think me first, others later. So when we're crafting our about page, we have to realize that even though somebody is visiting a page about me, really they're still thinking about themselves, right? They wanna know what I can do for them and if I'm a good fit for them. They want to know if my expertise is going to fit their goals and their needs. And so we need to keep that in mind and make sure that even though this page is about me and my business, really it's about the customer. It's about this potential customer that is searching for someone to work with. So we're gonna dive into my about page on my website and I'm gonna show you everything that you need to have on there to make sure that we can redirect this back towards the potential client and help them understand why we're a good fit for them and why they should hire us. So here we are on my about page and the first thing that you're going to notice is I immediately call out exactly what it is that I do. I don't want there to be any confusion. I want them to know that they are in the right spot. I wanna make sure to keep this personal and let them know that really my biggest goal and what I do is helping them achieve their goals, right? That's the first time that we're gonna throw things back on them and tell them um, right here you can see my goal is I want to help you reach your potential using the strategies that I've mastered online. And so that is hinting at my expertise, but it is also hinting at the fact that I'm going to help them accomplish their goals. I jump right into the fact that I'm one of Idaho's top reviewed web and SEO consultants because obviously I want to continue to build that trust. But then I'm jumping right into a very personalized message that is going to connect with them and help them feel like they know me, okay? In mine, I talk about how they probably aren't here to hear my life story, but really they want to know how it is that I can help them. And so I give them the brief version of how my business started, what qualifies me to help them, um, and then I just highlight really what it is that I do best. I talk about how your success is my biggest priority, which is letting them know that even though they're here to learn about me, I'm here for them. One of the most important things that you can have on an about page is a personal picture of you, okay? You want this picture to be of your face, um, if possible, of you smiling, working. You can see here in this picture, I'm on the phone and on my laptop. This shows them exactly who it is that they're gonna work with and what that looks like, which is going to alleviate a lot of stresses or apprehension that they might have about working with me. This next sentence is probably the most important part of this entire about page. And this is where we're going to call out our audience and let them know that they are in the right place. The sentence says, if you have ever asked any of the questions below, you are in the right place, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and list out all of the most common questions that my potential clients might have. This is really going to help them know that they're in the right place and that I can solve the problems that they have. You can see a couple examples here um, of those questions are, how can I get customers for my local business on the internet? How can I compete with bigger companies online with a smaller budget? Why isn't my website generating sales or even leads? So you can see that 
those are going to do a fantastic job of letting my audience know that you are in the right place and these are problems that I can and will solve when we work together. As you scroll down, you can see that I highlight a good portion of the businesses that I've worked with. This does a great job of building credibility, but I also love this because the chances are pretty high of somebody seeing this list of, of clients and knowing either one of the businesses or having interacted with someone at that business. And it does a great job, again, of bridging that gap and helping them feel like they have a connection to me. Um, it's gonna make them feel a lot more comfortable to reach out to me and start working together. After that, we wanna make sure that we jump right into our main call to action that we've talked about um, in past videos where we are going to offer them this free growth call again. Now, this is a great time to do this because they're starting to feel comfortable with us. I've given them a personal message. They've seen a picture of me. They've seen some of the clients that I've worked with. And most importantly, I've called them out by using those very specific questions to let them know that they're in the right place. This is one of the most effective places to add your call to action, again, because they feel very comfortable with you at this point. If they decide not to take that call to action, they're gonna scroll down and they're gonna see even more social proof. And I've got just about as many reviews as I can fit on here all listed out. This is going to help answer any concerns that they might have, and it's also gonna help them see that there are other people just like me that have worked with Peyton and have had an awesome experience. So that pretty much sums up everything that you're gonna need on your About page. You wanna make sure that your message is very specific and uses your own voice. You also wanna help people feel that you're really there and you're really listening to their concerns. If you can help bridge that gap between what they need and where they are, it's going to make it far easier to get them into a growth call or just to call you right off the bat and, uh, and schedule a project. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that while this page is about you, it's constantly redirecting the focus back to what they need, back to the concerns that they might have, back to the goals that they have, and back to the things that they may not even know that they need done, but they're going to feel like you're the person that can help them fulfill all of that. So that's it for this video. If you want me to look over the about page to your own website, feel free to drop the link below in the comments and I will look over it personally and leave you a couple notes just to give you an idea of things that you might be able to change or improve. And I'm sure there are things on there that I'm gonna be able to learn from as well. So please comment those down below and I look forward to looking through them. If you have any other questions, you can also leave those down below. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. We'll see you soon.